Verse 27, the Bible reads, You shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. And again, we don't see a, a punishment associated with these commandments. These are commands of God, yes. But there's not this, you know, it's not part of the human government aspect of saying, well, you, you know, this is going to, unless, unless it's telling us there is a, a judgment against that. And then verse 28 says, you shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. These are God's commands. And if you break God's commands, God's going to deal with you, but it's not intended for human government. So what are these talking about? Well, rounding the corners of your heads and marring the corners of your beards. It's talking about, you know, making weird cuts and shaves and stuff that's not fitting or normal to the way that God made you. And it doesn't say, you know, you shouldn't shave off your whole beard. It says marring the corners. It's talking about just specific areas where you're starting to just, just cut things out and, and you're making, you're just, it's just weird. Okay. It's the bottom line. Um, cuttings in your flesh for the dead, or nor print any marks. Printing marks upon you is those tattoos. The Bible says not to print any marks upon you. Now, is this something that I think should be against the law and human government? No. But you know what? It's part of God's law. And it's very clear that he says not to print any marks upon you. So no Christian should be doing that. But again, yes, we take the whole law. You know, we're not, we're not cherry-picking God's law, but when we're talking about what parts of God's law belong in our human government, we have to look at God's law and see how He implemented it. What type of law is it? Is it a law that, that has been fulfilled through Jesus Christ or not, as the Sabbath days and the dietary restrictions have been, which, while they may have carried actual physical consequences that would have been carried out by a human government, they are no longer enforced because the priesthood has changed. Or are they just laws that they're God? Yes, they're part of God's laws, and a law is, is a law according to God, but it's not something to be punishable by man. Because you're not an evildoer, like against some other person. You're not bringing harm to someone else by marring the corner of your beard. Now, you may be disrespecting God, which is why it's part of God's law, and God will deal with you as a child, but it's not something that is punish a punishable offense. And then turn flip over to chapter 21. Here's another one that, that I've seen come up. Because people like to attack the character of God also. Right? They make God out to be, you know, he's this hateful bigot, murderous God that, you know, is, people like to blaspheme the name of the Lord because they don't like what the Bible says, so they try to judge God and, and put their morals above Him. 